In this video, we're going to be answering this Olympiad question. After this video, you should be able to answer almost any question similar to this one. So let's start. We're going to let n be equal to 100. Um, we do this because we as humans like to work with variables instead of large numbers because they are easier to deal with. And of course, let's also make 99. Uh, a variable we know that um, n is equal to 100 so we're gonna put n here and now we have also represented 99 in terms of a, in terms of a variable uh, n with minus 1 okay now we're gonna get 2 to the power of n minus so the, in the place of 100 we put n as you can see and the place of 99 we're gonna put n minus 1 n minus 1 now it's easier to work with this and many of you have seen uh, questions similar to this one but when it's numbers it tends to be kind of confusing now let's simplify this you know that 2 to the power of n uh, minus 1 is the same as 2 to the power of n multiplied by 2 to the power of, n, of negative 1 okay we are using the fact that a number let's say m raised to let's say q plus p is equal to m raised to q multiplied by p multiplied by m <laughs> i meant to write p here multiplied by m raised to the power of p right so that's what we use there it's one of the laws of exponents now let's take a fact let's take a common factor on the left there is 2 to the power of n on the right there is also 2 to the power of n so let's take out 2 to the power of n 2 to the power of n goes to 2n and leave 1 minus 2 to the power of n goes to 2n multiplied by 2, 2 to the power of n minus 1 and cancel 2 to the power of n and leave 2 to the power of negative 1. Okay, so let's write this down here. So basically what we will end up with is something like this, 1 minus 1 over 2 because 2 to the power of negative 1 is 1 over 2 it's also one of the laws of exponents that if you have a number raised to a number or a variable whatever it is raised to something it's going to be equal to um, 1 over m to the power of negative q or if you have maybe let's say um, m to the power of negative q this is going to become m to the power of q. Okay, now let's continue. We know that 1, okay, let me write it down here. 1 is the same as 2 over 2, and we chose 2 because we want the denominators to be the same. The denominator uh, that's below 1 in this fraction, we want, it, we want this denominator to be the same as this one. Now, because the denominators are the same, we're going to put 2 here and then gonna say 2 minus 1 and that's gonna be equal to 1 and then we will end up with something like this 2 to the power of n over 2 2 to the power of n over 2 is the same as 2 to the power of n minus 1 and we know that 2 to the power of n minus 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 99 because in the place of n minus 1 we put 99 remember n minus 1 is equal to 99 and that's basically the solution so if you like my videos make sure that you like leave a comment and also share the video and don't forget to subscribe thank you